Hello YouTube, welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? It is Sunday. I am a day late. Woohoo! But I'm not a dime short. Um, <clears throat> I was out shopping yesterday and uh, therefore I didn't get to this video. But uh, it's a, it's, I think it's an important one and um, I, I want to make sure I get my answers for the week. So here we go. The topic. Um, clothes shopping while shrinking and beyond. Several layers to the question. Uh, I'm going to take them one at a time, I think, and do my best to answer them. During the losing phase, what did you do while you were shrinking and your clothes would get too big? How long would you wear them? Would you donate them? Give them away to a friend? Throw them away? So the first part of that, uh, what did I wear while I was shrinking? Okay, well, uh, I was a size 2XL top and a 2022 jean, and they were tight. So I had lap band surgery in March uh, 23rd, 2009, just celebrated my four year surge anniversary, and my clothes fit for a while. Um, I did not lose a rapid amount in speed, my weight did not come off rapidly. I lost 99 pounds in 68 weeks. So, uh, you know, some weeks were a great amount of loss, other weeks, weeks were not. So, I'm, my story may be a little bit different than some of you, but um, I was able to wear my clothes for a while, right? I did not immediately shrink out of them. What I did was I created what I called a last wear day with my clothes. It was a very hard moment often to give away or stop wearing or come to the last wear day of my favorite outfit, my favorite tops, the jeans that always looked the best, right? But they were too big. So... I tend to celebrate them those days in those clothes and I created my last wear day and I had a trash bag in my closet and I would wear the clothes for the last time and then I'd put them in the last wear bag right because I was never gonna wear those clothes again um, and so basically I would wear them until the last wear day until they were too saggy in the butt hanging off my body just didn't fit anymore. Um, I've done multiple things. I would wait till the bag got heavy enough uh, that I could almost not carry it any longer and I would um, donate them. And then uh, about six months into my journey, I met a friend uh, here via YouTube who was in the losing phase and my clothes that no longer fit me fit her. So I was able to give them to a fellow weight loss surgery patient so that they did not have to go buy clothes as they shrink. They could fit into my clothes as they shrink. Um, so that was really nice. So um, I know a lot of support groups do it. We've done it at the meet and greet back in the day. Uh, clothing swaps. Uh, I've even had a pair of pants that I sent to a gal in Canada. So, you know, I think it was the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. So you can do those type of things among your friends here in the community. Um, you can give and take from each other. It's kind of cool. Um, there were a few things, underwear, tossed them, you know, into the trash. Um, and I want to say that my bras and my underwear were the very last things I replaced. Why? I don't know. Um, but I started out at a 44 triple D bra and today I'm a 34 B. I should be an A, but because I have a little excess skin in the breast area, I have to cram it all into a B. But my measurement's a 34 A. Uh, so, uh, last thing to change for me was to buy those bras and underwear. Number two, losing so quickly and not wanting to shop until I reach my goal weight and where should I shop? So this was a question we actually got from a viewer. Um, how much should I buy and what should I buy? Again, I wasn't losing so quickly. That wasn't my journey. Um, but I did have that experience of I want to wear what I have and 
not buy too much because when I get to my goal weight, I'm going to buy, right? And my father actually made a, a, a deal with me, God bless him, that when I got to my goal weight, he gave me X number of dollars to fill my closet again. Um, so that was fun to start thinking about the things like the little black dress that I wanted to buy and own and have in my closet when I got to my goal weight so I could put it on at any time and be ready to go out in my little black dress. So I started thinking about fashion in a whole different way from when I was 245 pounds, it was about just to cover my body. And as I shrank, it was to make my body feel to, to, to what looked best on my body, not just to cover it, but what looked best and what did I like the most. So as far as wanting to shop, I mean, you gotta have a pair of jeans. That was always when I was shrinking, um, I wanted to buy jeans. I personally um, found one place, um, I used the Gap, the jeans are affordable, they often have sales, you can find one anywhere. And I wanted to stay within one type of style of jeans. So I did long and lean, because that's me. Um, and I, every size down I would go to the Gap and I could go there anywhere in the country where I was traveling and try on the next size down. So I found that I had to have jeans, um, I had to have some type of uh, workout clothes. Uh, and my workout clothes, I'd wear, I, I mean, I rolled down the pants of the workout clothes. I would tie the shirts in a knot, right, um, until they were falling down even when they were rolled before I'd buy new ones. But I'd use, I would use Target for my workout clothes uh, because they're affordable. Um, and uh, those were also the, I, I buy them tight. Those were the last things in the shrinking phase that I would need to replace. Right, so the gap for my pants, uh, same size or same brand, same style, same cut. Uh, so I felt like I was truly shrinking at the gap, uh, and Target for my workout clothes. Everything else, um, you know, Ross, uh, discount stores, places that I could get disposable clothes, basically. Um, number three, if you are at your goal weight, which I am, over two and a half years at my goal weight met my goal in July of 2010, do you still shop as frequently as you did losing? Mm, it's changed. Do you still enjoy it as much as you did initially, uh, as you did initially after hitting your goal? It's very interesting. My husband is a weight loss surgery patient, um, and he's 10 years post-op gastric bypass, down 300 and some odd pounds. He's my weight loss surgery hero. He's taught me a couple things about the journey uh, and about shrinking and about getting to your goal weight and about maintenance, right? Number one, investment clothes. Uh, investment clothes in my world are things that are on the expensive side. Um, $150 plus for a pair of jeans is what I consider expensive um, for my lifestyle. and. Those are jeans I'm going to wear the rest of my life. So that's why I buy the expensive and make it in an investment purchase, investment fashion. Mm. He taught me that. He also taught me every time you go shopping, for every one item that you bring home, you have to get rid of one item out of the closet. Now, I need to get back to that because right now my closet is so jam-packed, I can't put another thing in it. And he's starting to complain about it, right? Um, but that's a really good rule. That was a really good rule for me in the losing phase. If I'm gonna go shopping, no matter investment clothes or disposable clothes, I, whatever I bring home, I have to get rid of equally the same amount, right? Um, I would say that I enjoyed shopping while I was losing. I enjoyed it more when I got to my goal weight because this was it. I wasn't gonna change, right? Wrong. My body has transformed, continued to transform since hitting my goal weight. Um, and I fluctuate between 135 and 140 some odd pounds. So, you know, my weight changes, um, but my size hasn't changed too much. And last yesterday I went shopping and I was shopping from two o'clock until eight something. I didn't buy anything, nothing. I had to learn to, if it, I got to the point that if I don't love it, and if it is not something I don't already own, if it is not something that just makes me go, woohoo, you know, and you get that smile, 
on your face when you're wearing it? You got to take a picture of it? If it doesn't do that, I'm not buying it. So the combination of my closet being too full and not following my own rule, buy one, get rid of one, I didn't buy anything. I didn't love anything yesterday. So it has changed for me. Um, I used to go shopping every weekend. Um, now I go shopping once a month, once every couple of months. It's different. It's different for me. Um, is there anything else that I would like to share about shrinking and clothes shopping? Oh, it's getting long. It's 10 minutes. Um, get rid of the clothes. You're not going to need them. Uh, my husband was five and a half years post-op when I moved in with him. And he had to clean out the house. And he still had clothes from 5X and 6X sizes. And he had a truckload of clothes because he didn't give anything away. He didn't know anybody that was that big to give them away to. And when he went to go give them away, Goodwill wouldn't take them. Why? The sizes were too big. Right? He had to illegally dump them in a dumpster. Nobody wanted his clothes. You know? So, start, if you're that size, just take them and start throwing them in your trash. Because maybe they're not going to take them uh, anywhere unless you do through a weight loss surgery community swap. Um, don't hold on to them. He didn't need those clothes. He's never going back. Um, buy the investment pieces along the way. Invest in some disposable clothes along the way by the season because I'm far from a model. I get that. But I am changing. You know, my idea of what I like to dress and what I like to wear changes by the season. So buy the stuff that's disposable season to season so you can buy more. H&M is good for that. Forever 21 is good for that. Windsor is good for that. Charlotte Russe is good for that. Um, and for me, I mean, I just got done running. Like, I get excited about going to Lululemon and Hardtail um, and, and the Nike store because I wear a different running outfit, workout outfit, six days a week. Um, my laundry consists of running clothes more than anything else. I like the comfort of those Lululemon and um, Hardtail just to wear around the house, kick it on a Saturday or a Sunday when I'm going to the grocery store. So I, I, I like my running, my workout clothes almost more than I like regular fashion. That's just me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make us a response video. Tell us about your uh, clothes shopping while you shrink and where you shop. All right. Bye.